This time I've got my cheat sheet with me, just so I don't get anything wrong, and I don't inform you guys of anything incorrectly. I'm going to talk about the types of exercise, the energy system used, and the major fuel source used when you're doing these exercises and that type of exercise, okay? If you do maximum effort, lasting less than six seconds, you'll be using what's known as your ATP PC. That's your energy system, your immediate power, your acceleration, that's your ATP. Okay, the fuel you use is ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Okay, now, I won't go into how this happens. Please look it up on the internet or I'll be on here for about six minutes trying to explain it to everyone. Basically, your body creates energy. ATP is that energy for your immediate sort of, yes, got to get up and go. That's, I've just used ATP for that. Whereas sitting like this or standing, I'm using my long-term fuel sources, okay? Because it's a slow, it's not a sudden movement. Okay, so if you're doing a high intensity exercise, which lasts up to 30 seconds, you're going to be using your ATP PC system again, but also your anaerobic glycolytic. Glycolytic, sorry. This means you're going to use the glycogen in your muscles, okay? Glycogen is derived from carbohydrates, glucose, sugar, okay? You're also using your ATP stores again. Now, if you're going to do high intensity exercises lasting up to a quarter of an hour, 15 minutes, you'll be using your anaerobic glycolytic energy systems again and your aerobic, okay? That will be using your muscle glycogen, the glycogen stored in your muscles, okay? If you're doing a moderate high intensity exercise lasting a quarter of an hour up to an hour, you'll start using your aerobic energy systems, okay? That's muscle glycogen and adipose tissue. Yes, love handles, people. If you're doing a moderate high intensity exercise, which lasts over an hour, but no more than 90 minutes, again, you'll be using your aerobic system, but you'll also be using your muscle glycogen, your liver glycogen, your blood glucose, your intramuscular fat in between the different layers, and also your adipose tissue, your fat stores, okay? If you're gonna be doing exercise lasting more than 90 minutes at a moderate intensity, again, you'll be using that aerobic system. You'll be using your muscle glycogen, your liver glycogen, your blood glucose, intracellular muscle fat, and again, your adipose tissue. Now, if you want to know the difference between yourself, if you're not a trained person, and a personal trainer like myself, the basic rule of thumb is that trained people, we use fat as a fuel source. Untrained people, maybe an office worker who doesn't exercise, it may be a mum who's had a child who's out of shape, untrained people use their glycogen as their fuel source, okay? So there's the difference. The more you train, the more you train your body to use your fat as an energy source. Keep that in mind when you try to stay away from fat when you're eating.